What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Mike Life. Today we're gonna to do a video on another adapter here for CarPlay and Android Auto. It actually does both. The name of it is MMB-W, hold on, J-U-C-C-A. That is the strangest name for a CarPlay Android Auto adapter. So I'm gonna show you guys what you get in a box and we'll do an install. And here's the packaging that it comes in. Inside the packaging, you'll get your user manual. You'll get a type A to type C or a type C to type C. For this install, we'll be using type A to type C. And here is the unit. You can see, it's pretty nice looking, nice design on it, plastic. Over here, you're gonna have your toggle switch. You have AA right there. I don't know if you guys can make it out. That's Android Auto. And then CP is gonna be for Apple CarPlay. So we're gonna put it on AA because we're gonna use Android Auto. I don't have any Apple phones to test it out with. All right, so I got it plugged in down there and I'm gonna plug in right now this part. All right, we're gonna see, it's gonna start lighting up. You got a red light going there and blue. So now it's ready to pair. And then when you go into your Bluetooth, you're gonna see Smartbox A9B9. I'm gonna click on that to pair and it will ask you to pair, yes. Right now it should be connected. Let's look at the display there. Let's see if anything happens. Look at that, that's pretty quick. All right, so that paired pretty quick. As you can see there, there's your Google Maps. I have my Apple Music, phone, and settings button. And just to scroll inside Apple Music, we'll see how everything just works seamlessly on here. No problems at all. And here you can see we're inside the apps. We've got the Nissan app there, Apple Music, Messenger, everything is in there if you guys are familiar with Android Auto, WhatsApp app, and so forth. And now we're gonna do a test with the stopwatch. Let's see how long it takes to boot up after starting the car up. All right, start it up. And we'll leave it like that, so you guys can see. All right, so far we're at 10 seconds, 11, 12. There we go, it's starting to boot up on my phone. 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20. 21, come on, there it goes, now it's coming on. 24 seconds. So Mike, what are your overall thoughts on this MMB CarPlay Android Auto? It does what it's supposed to do. 24 seconds to boot up, eh, not the greatest, but by the time you get in the car, you start up, you put your seatbelt on, whatever, you pull out of wherever, it comes on, you know? Now, this did 24 seconds here for this test that I did, but I did have it turn on in 21 seconds. So I haven't had it turn on anything below 20 seconds. So you're getting anywhere between, let's say 20 to 25 seconds for this to boot up after starting up your vehicle. But the main feature with this, in my opinion, is gonna be that it's one box to do both phones. I think that's awesome. Android or CarPlay. How many times do you know people that have bought an Android phone and then they decide they're gonna go with an iPhone, an Apple phone? Now they're gonna have to update their device again in their vehicle. With this, it could do both. And what's awesome is that, let's say you are the, let's say that you have as, let's say your husband, the husband has Android, the wife has uh, Apple. They could both use it by just toggling that switch, uh, depending on who's obviously operating the car that day and so forth. I think you guys understand what I'm talking about. So I think that, in my opinion, is the main feature of this device. Other than that, it does what it's supposed to do. And obviously, if you go into the manual, it shows you if you need to do updates and so forth. For me, the way I see it is, if the thing works great, doesn't need to do an update, then don't do an update. So all in all, great job from these guys with this device. I will have a link down below for you guys to check it out. And thank you all for watching this episode of Mike Life.